All right, well, welcome back to the Black Market. Welcome back to the Black You know what it means when I ring that bell. I mean, it's some money on the floor. Mmm, OK. So we got to ring that, that bell. Yeah, it's prosperity. It. It's a prosperity the bell. The prosperity bell. Welcome to the Black Market. Thank you. How you doing today? Honored to be here. I'm doing great. I'm well, doing look, well. let's take this opportunity to introduce you to the black market audience. You got all these nice juices, mm -hmm. healthy things. We got we got to get health conscious around here. Absolutely, please. Well, introduce yourself and let them know what we're talking about today. All right. So I am Nalijah Maat. I'm the founder and CEO of Without a Healthy Market and Juice Bar. Voice so common. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to project more? Yeah, you're so common. I'm so sorry. Common. Yes. We're excited about this. So we are located in the historic West End. <laughs> yes. And we offer a vegan grocery store, first black owned. Okay. Vegan grocery store in the West End. And we have an array of juices and smoothies and plant-based grab and go. I bought a few here for you to sample. Okay. And we partner with over 100. We've got our plaque up there, which shows our 100 black businesses. But it's well over 100 at this point. Um, so that is really like our hallmark. Um, we're very proud of that. This milestone, five years, we've celebrated a few weeks ago. And we met 100 black businesses, started that initiative in 2019 and very proud that we've achieved that goal and we're going to surpass that. I've heard that now. First of yes. all, a big salute for partnering with 100 black businesses. That's what this whole experience is about, is just building the network and finding us in places that you don't normally see us in. Like, how has it been in the health market with everybody getting so health conscious here lately? I'm sure juices and, and tonics and smoothies have just been jumping off the shelves. So what is, what's the journey been like? Yeah, so it's definitely been a journey. Um, I definitely want to credit Dr. Sebi because yeah, he kind of put us on the map. Um, a lot of us that were in the health industry and in the health field before weren't really getting a whole lot of attention. And so, you know, he kind of bought CMOS and popularized it. And since then, you know, I think I was a little bit ahead of the curve because I was doing CMOS smoothies. So when that, you know, came about, I was already positioned. So thankfully, you know, because of my culture, um, I had to see my smoothies go in, um, added the cold pressed juices, and it's really, the community really embraced us. So yeah. that's, that's really the best part about it. I could not have imagined, you know, how much we would have been really, you know, embraced. So that was beautiful. What's the transition like? Like, I know this is your field and you see people who want to start getting more healthy. Like, mm -hmm. do you recommend that they kind of take steps to do that or just go and switch to switch to the whole other side all at once? No, so what we do is we try to meet people where they are. Yeah. And so that's really important because nobody wants to have the rug just, you know, swept from underneath them. So you have to have some foundation and it's just small steps. Um, I try to tell people even, hey, if you're drinking soda, drink a ginseng. Um, we have like a transitional soda. And so it doesn't have a lot of like the dyes and the high fructose corn syrup, um, a lot of the unnatural sugars. So you just start and just take small steps. Uh, what I think is really important for people to do is do greens. And it's amazing, like your body is so amazing that it will work with you and it will lessen, you know, that temptation for starches and unnatural sugars. If you do a lot of greens, your body will just kind of fall into alignment you know, with the needs for healthier foods, more fruits, more natural sugars, you know, just healthier foods, healthier options, like, you know, quinoa, you could do quinoa um, instead of rice. Um, I like to tell people, try to remove as much white sugar. And this really came from my teacher. Um, and how I learned was get rid of anything white. So that's like white flour, white sugar, Cocaine. white rice. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Anything white, get that out your life. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> so, you know, those were my steps. Um, and when I say my teacher, Laila Africa, if you're familiar with him, very raw, very uncut. Um, and I just, I studied him, I studied his books. He has 
probably dozens of books, probably hundreds of videos. And um, yeah, he's, he's phenomenal. And if you need a wake up call, he'll, he's gonna give it to you. He's kind of a comedian like you. Really? Yeah, well, yeah. We he, might need to get together. He's then. an ancestor now, you know. Um, uh, he's in the ancestral realm. But, sorry to hear that. Um, but yeah, but he was a comedian. He was definitely a comedian. Really? Yeah. What'd you bring us today? I see you have a few items yes. on the table. So um, I mentioned the sea moss smoothies. So that's kind of like our signature. That's our thing. Hold on. Sea Before we smoothies. get into that, mm -hmm. I just looked on the table and I saw the list again. How do people get in touch with you to do a collaboration? Because we have a pretty decent audience here. Okay. And I'm sure that somebody's going to see that and, and want to be a part of the movement and what you have going on. What's the best Absolutely. way to get in touch with you about doing a collaboration? Okay. So our website is Wadada ATL, um, wadadaatl.com, and there's a business partnership form there. So if you go there, click on that, fill out that form, and then, you know, we'll process those um, requests oh. from there. Yeah, that's the most direct line. Fill out that form, and that comes straight to us. Do y'all do, like, special order, like, custom juices, or these are all just prepackaged? Like, I know it's not So, no, we, we do a lot of customization modifications, especially on smoothies, even juices. People come in, and they add, like, superfoods for days. Yeah. Because we have almost 20, close to 20 different superfoods, I think, that you could add. So we do a lot of customizations. Okay. Tell yeah. me what you brought here today. All right. So what I bought was our Purple Rain. And this is, um, I want to say, maybe our top sm selling smoothie. Um, but this one has acai in it. And it has blueberries. So all of those are good to boost your immune system. Okay. Um, all of our smoothies have ginger and sea moss in it. And that's very intentional. Um, Ginger, of course, for because... For the blood flow, right? Right, for the blood flow, and we have a lot of heart I'm such issues. a student. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm such a student. So we have a lot of heart issues, unfortunately, in our community. Stress. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. And so ginger is in all of our signature smoothies. Sea moss is in give all of our signature... Give that little bite. Mm -hmm. That ginger give you that little right, bite. Right, right. And, of course, sea moss, because that helps. Because we're very deficient. Like, the soil is deficient. The foods that we eat, therefore, are deficient, and so then our body is deficient. So I can't think of a better way to remineralize your body other than sea moss. Right. And I so, going, I, 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 anytime I get to talking with the health conscious people, I always get their pain <laughs> on, on the turmeric. Turmeric. Oh yeah, yeah. We have we have a, a smoothie that has turmeric and ginger in it, and yes, that's good for inflammation and really to strengthen your immune system as well. Yeah. So everything. So we have about eight signature smoothies. All of them have a signature um, superfood inside of them. Um, I told you we have ginger and sea moss in every smoothie. Um, and then you can customize it to have sea moss and other things. But this one is our purple rain. Um, this one is our sour stop. Yeah, and when I say like- sweet, man. Mm -hmm. Not real sweet, but good natural yeah, sweet. It's, yeah, it's a good natural sweet. Right, good natural sweet. Um, so that's our sour, um, our Sour Stop Sip. I went to St. Uh, Lucia uh, last week and mm -hmm. got to have some fresh Sour Stop. Oh, yeah. Fresh Sour Stop is amazing. Yeah. It's definitely amazing. They got some amazing fruits over there. Mm-hmm. And that particular fruit, of course, is, has gotten very popular. That's all people come in and ask me about Sour Stop, Sour Stop. Of course, the leaves because they're anti-cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so that's our Sour Stop Sip. This one, I forgot what I brought. Sorry. Oh, Pina Passion. So when I say like, uh-oh, we got a fan. <laughs> this your favorite one? So when I say about meeting people where they are. Pineapple, yeah. That, yeah, that. when people come in, who doesn't love like pineapple, coconut? It's kind of like a pina colada or spin on a pina colada. It's pina right. passion. Of course, it has the ginger, the sea moss, the pineapple, the bananas, the coconut milk. So almost everybody loves pina passion. Let me ask you this. Is it still healthy if we sneak just a little lick in it? Um, just a just a splash. Well, I say in moderation. You know what I mean. I, I would say in moderation, but not all not all the time. Okay. But you know, every now and then, I think in just moderation. Just sneak a is little okay. splash on there. It's still gonna if be it's just a, I mean, yeah. A little healthy I mean. liquor. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here? We got some shots. Right, and so those are um, two of our shots. Um, of course, everybody loves ginger. And again, um, this is all intentional. Um, that gets get your blood flowing. OG juice. Um, yeah, that's the original organic ginger. And then that's our metal buster, which is 
cilantro shot. So we have a whole series of shots that we have. Um, the Metal Buster really is for ridding the body of, well, what do you think the Metal Buster is for? Um, getting toxins out of your blood. Boom. Boom. Cleaning, I thought you were going to say something funny, but you, you really, your system. that's serious. Blood, I mean, when I saw, when I heard metal, a lot of people right. don't know that, you know, you literally have iron in your blood, so mm -hmm. if you're going to try to get a little bit better circulation, right. I would I would assume that you would need to lube up those blood cells and get them flowing around in your body and up in your immune system and getting those T cells together. That's how you get healthy, man. Yeah. So to elaborate a little further on the metal buster. Talk to him. <laughs> I'm just your assistant today. <laughs> so the cilantro. So what people don't realize a lot is that the metals, the heavy metals that are in our system, they block our healing. Mm -hmm. So chemically, they kind of form these aggregates and they prevent the healing, you know, to take place in your body. And so you want to kind of rid those heavy metals that aren't supposed to be in your body. The arsenic, the lead, um, you want to push those out. And amazingly enough, um, you will find that things that seem like very, very stubborn um, will no longer be stubborn. And, and you could really purge that and be able to gain the healing that you're looking for. So it's very, very critical, um, and it's something that's kind of overlooked. Really? Well, I hate to tell you this, but I can't let you leave with any of this. I need all of this in yes, my life. Yes, please. So put I my love tab it. together. Um, <laughs> I am going to sneak a little liquor in this one just because mm -hmm. I'm going through something and I want to see. I might. What you kind know, of liquor? Just maybe a little splash of like rum or something, a little, well, okay. little, maybe a little vodka. Something clear. I say stay with the rum. A little reposado or something. Maybe a little splash of tequila. I don't even know what the one you said. I know tequila. That reposado, that Don Julio? Now, they'll oh, tell you, I don't, I don't even drink. I but I was I was popping shit one night, and then I hit the, the Don Julio. I was like, hmm, I see why y'all like this. Interesting. It still ain't in my rotation, but I did okay. plan on. I'm going to sneak a little splash again. That's a new one on me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Come well, on now, I know no, you. But the thing is, is that, like I said, in moderation. Moderation. But the good thing is, since you're going to ingest this along with the little splash. Little splash. Get it, just get it in there. That's the whole thing. You just got to get it in there. And, you, and your I'll body take a is going to work shot with you. When I finish. I love it. Now, is there any way I can get on your mailing list, or you can have me some deliveries dropped off every so often down here? Or do I need to just start sending my order with Helen? Yeah, because and just tell her she to grab said she's us there stuff. like once a week. She's not lying. So, so yeah, so we can hook you up. Okay, bet. Because I'm trying to make some changes in my life. Really? Yeah. Okay, I love to hear that. Yeah, I just want to feel okay. better, move some of the metal around, you know, get back <laughs> uh, get back to my alkaline state, you know, because I'm a black man, so that means I'm already, like, magnetic mm -hmm. to the universe. So I really just trying to readjust and yeah. get my insights right, third eye. Mm -hmm. Third eye got a little crust in it. Right. We have something for that, you know. For real? So we have a toothpaste. It's called Caverse. All right. And it actually has the ingredients. Now, what is that ingredient? Um, oh, now it's escaping me. Not fluoride. Um, but no, it's no, 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 no. Okay. Not fluoride. Right. No. Um, sad. Anyway, it's in Caverse. Okay. And we have it. It's a toothpaste. All right. And you brush with that toothpaste, and it has that ingredient. It's an um, Ayurvedic... Um, ingredient but I can't remember and right it now. stimulates and motivates the mm -hmm. third eye yeah it helps to cleanse the third eye mm -hmm. any, any any more Stimulated. information that, that we need to drop or let them know where they can get in touch with you directly because the people who watch this they be wanting to talk directly to the people yeah yeah um yeah just come through and see us we we just said an honor do you know who Queen of Fua is mm -mm. okay so Queen of Fua she's a holistic healer She's been doing this work for 55 years. And we have a Wadada Healers mural, and we just honored her and put her on the um, on the side of the building, mm. along with Dr. Layla Africa, who's my teacher. Um, and then we're going to add some others, and yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty dope. Like, it's something, it's something, to, it's a sight to see. It's a sight to see. I'm excited. And she has, um, like I said, we have her books. We officially <coughs> partnered with her, and... Um, so we have her full line of products. 
We have her book, Sacred Woman. Um, that was something that really helped me on my journey um, and really taught me the power of healing because you really have to experience it firsthand, you know, to really understand, I can, I can really do this. And so I read her book, went through her gateways. I call that the Bible, you know, for women's health. We carry that in the store and now her full line of products. So we have an amazing, as you can see, um, the 100 businesses that we have there and beyond. Uh, we have amazing just lineup of products of black owned businesses. So Now where are you planning on putting us at? Where we go? Um, yeah, so we're going to make another one. Yeah. We, we're making another one. So reach out, you know, hit up that business partnership so we can make our second plaque. But we're close to the second 100, actually. I want to get on there and I want to come up with at least me a little healthy shot or something. I need a product on the line. Mm, let's talk about that. Like a hand lotion? Can you give me like an eczema cream or something? We have we have pro products for eczema. I want it to be oatmeal based. Oatmeal based? Yeah. Okay, so I don't create the products for. I know, no, but we you got. Can put me but in I'm touch telling you who, who does. Neem Botanicals. Are they on here? And if I just called them out. So we have Garner's Garden has a. Um, and our, Garner's Garden is right there. They have an eczema product. Um, Neem Botanicals. They might not be on this one, but that's what I'm saying. We have over, over a hundred neem botanicals. They have um, it's the lemongrass base. That's See? the that's the neem and lemongrass. That's the active ingredient. You know neem, nothing can get past neem. Right. Neem is coming through and taking everything out. Absolutely. Yeah. So that eczema don't stand a chance. Yeah. And you I've can consume that. Of, we got teas. I've been in the community, man. A lot of people been popping up with eczema since, you know, they start getting the vaccines out. Really? Well, I'm not surprised. I, well, I'm not saying scientifically that that's the link, but <laughs> my black people that I know are saying, man, ever since I got that shot, man, this spot right here just been dry as hell. Mm. So you know I ain't making that up. Right. No, I know you're not. Yeah. Well, you got to come hit us up. I don't have your information. We got the herbs. Now. We got medicinal herbs. I like know. medicinal herbs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I definitely like some medicinal herbs, and I can't, I can't wait to see what other kind of things you turn you me know, on to. That is <laughs> <laughs> so we have medicinal herbs such as burdock root, uh, yeah. mullein. Uh-huh. Um, That's good for your lungs and getting all the inflammation out and mucus. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the popular ones. Ashwagandha, because we yeah. have a lot of stress. In our community. That's, it's the most that's stuff they're taking in that for, though. It's what? The ashwagandha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you said, yeah. 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 Just like the sea moss and yeah. things like that. Libido. Things like that in nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's real popular. Yeah. It's very popular. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's supposed to bring balance. So wherever you are, it kind of balances you out. Yeah, you got to be in the right state to take it. You can't just jump out there with that one. That's one of the ones you need to kind of work up to. And well, the way it sells, it don't seem like people are trying to work up to it. They're but, not listening. But, um, yeah, because it's very popular. And it's like I said, it's very needed. But there are other herbs that do the same, you know, like maca. Is That's very, good Of course, maca is, you know, also great for the libido. And, mm -hmm. and it brings balance, too. So, um, yeah, we, we got a lot of good stuff. We probably have maybe 50 different herbs, you know, medicinal herbs. I want the list. I'm getting the books. There you have mm -hmm. it, folks. You're trying to mm -hmm. get your life right. Trying to get you some of these good herbs, mm -hmm. things of that nature. We got mm -hmm. these good shots. Yeah. We about to be on the list of the top 100. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Drop the, drop the uh, contact one more time so they'll know where to find you. All right, so we are in the heart of the historic West End. We're in 878 Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. Our website is, well, let me, our Instagram is wadada underscore ATL. Our website is wadadaatl.com. And we got a Facebook too, but. Yeah, you, know. you Wadada Health, Facebook Wadada is, is yes. the spot too. Sorry, yes. Wadada Healthy Market and Juice Bar on Facebook. And what other contacts did I leave out? That's all of them, right? It's For Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Y'all on Reddit? Reddit is jumping these days. Really? Reddit? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, people like to get on there and talk shit. Mmm. Well, I'm saying like they just they kind of like people who prefer to just like exchange information back and forth. I think that's been their preferred platform. Oh, I didn't like that much stuff. It's all good. I turned it off, but it don't. It, 
it's not on when it's on it's not on when it's off it's on well look this your first time stopping through the black market mm -hmm. definitely don't let it be the last and I'm Carlos Miller. This is the black market. These are the juices, and you know where to get them. The black market is open. The black market is open.